Why are many coins in the Pulse Chain ecosystem pumping? You have Solid X, which has done like a 100x plus. You have Icarus or Icarus, a nice phoenix rising from the ashes pumping. You also see Axis, Randy's coin. Nope. Why are they pumping? Well, they're bonded. But let me tell you something, friends. So there's a rumor of a big benevolent whale who's making $550,000 of yield a week, who's basically been making a lot of yield from the yield farms of Pulsex, who is free to just rotate in. So that's why I've explored for you. I've got another video for you coming uh, later later on. Just pay attention to that. Make sure you do. When it comes to, okay, if you believe Richard Hart's going to pump everything 100x and stay there, he's going to be getting $50 million of yield a week. One guy, how sustainable is that? Oh, wow, 50 mansions, 50 mansions. I know, million dollars gives you mansion in many places these days, but still, 50 mansions per week. How sustainable is that for retail to keep coming in? Just think about these prices. A lot of people have these prices that they go up to these sky-high valuations. Now, the actual key reason, a shout-out to Mr. S, and then 15 underscores, and I think a K, and then another 15 underscores, all right? He asked this question, he's like, the gist is, <clears throat> what's actually been happening, friends, is I was right. In terms of market cap does matter, and the market is smarter than just me and you sitting here in our squeaky chairs. The market's very smart. Everybody is waking up to the fact that market cap does matter. And they're waking up to the fact that you need heavier and heavier exponential bags of money to be inserted into a large market cap ecosystem like Pulse Chain to, to drag everything up. So what people are doing is they're throwing their money out in smaller places and having more fun with it. And of course they didn't. Hey, the things, these things go up. They actually go up because the liquidity is thinner. That's why. So that's what you'll be actually witnessing. You are witnessing right now a renaissance of people pretty much who are just watching these coins appear and go, wow, wow. I mean, look at these fans. Look at Hexfire. Bang! Check this out. And Axis going up as well. And they're trying to bond them, trying to do something with them. Wow, BBC, everything going up. Blast. You see these friends? That, this is crazy, right? <clears throat> so that's pretty much what's been happening. Watching all these green candles of these things appear. People are waking up. They're waking up to the fact that, look, at the end of the day, look, everybody saw it. Richard inserted $14 million into PulseX to get it above day one sack. Right, we we were right here, man. We were right here. Okay, we saw it. It was this this candle up here, fourteen million dollars inserted, and then the scum non-believers went down. But we can call them all the names in the world. It was just we were too expensive. That's it. The valuation's too high for the amount of people in the ecosystem. It is what it is, friends. You, you hope you learned this lesson for life. Don't ever participate with everybody else out there because. Chances are you might be participating with euphoric people who are going to price in the perfect future already, and so you need to be exiting, but you don't even have the coins yet. So you never, you can't participate with people who are euphoric. So people are waking up to that, right? They're waking up to what euphoria means, and also they're waking up to market cap and liquidity. They get to see, oh my gosh, it's really, really hard to lift this boat just out of nowhere because, yes, there's a lot of dead weight weak hands. That's why you see cycle one coins have less dead weight than cycle two coins, and cycle one narratives get a lot of new people in. So they, that's why they all, the probabilities of them rising higher, they they basically <clears throat> appear in your portfolio or, or out there in the marketplace when you're trying to pick them up. So everyone has now had this awakening. I call it the renaissance. Well, I've been saying this the whole time. Yes, the amount, what, friends, what do you think is more likely to happen, all right, when when a certain valuation hits a certain price, do you think new people are going to come in rushing in for that over and over and over again? And guess what? They're just going to get absorbed, just like in Bitcoin. Everyone's now praying for like a 90K or 100K Bitcoin. Everyone's praying for that. Well, it's barely like 30, 40%. This thing went 100X in two days, you know what I mean? One guy buying. So it is what it is. But obviously, it comes down to how, how sustainable is it? How long-term is it? But then, once again, it comes down to the reality. Everybody knows you're here for one cycle, one bull market. You can't trust anybody in a bear market. You know, when euphoria is here, you have to be getting out. So let me ask you, what's the whole point of holding everything again and round chipping? There is no point. There is no point. Okay, so that's pretty much why you're, what you're witnessing all of these. I, I'm, I see their index. Maybe they're trying to liquidity lock everything so everyone has something to, to get in. But just know what's, in, what's happening, right? Richard's inserting money into incentive token, for example, 
and then whoever the big benevolent whale is, is Abe or anybody else, they're receiving the incentive token bids, the, the money, and then they can rotate out and put it into their altcoins. But that's exactly what Richard did, by the way. Richard raised Hex ICO money equivalent. He had 150000 whatever it is, the rumor is, of the Ethereum. And he got it there. Money was inserted into Ethereum. It goes up, and then Richard dumps his Ethereum at the top, which is pretty much he admitted it to Eric Wall on stage at the beginning of 2022. He dumps his Ethereum at the top, and then he goes and puts it in his own altcoin. So now what Richard did to the Ethereum guys, the big whale rumor is doing it to Richard. It's the same game. It's literally the same game. I mean, you you could have made a hundred X, I guess, in this solid X coin. Let's say you let's say you turn one grand into like 50 grand or whatever. You could go start up a coin with like a hundred dollars liquidity and just go bang, bang, bang. I'm gonna send you up a hundred X. But yeah, people could only put in 50 bucks. Okay, so you could do the same thing. It's just that's a psychological wealth effect. Everything comes down. So that's that's pretty much that's what's going on. We're seeing the Renaissance appear. And I know a lot of that's why, friends, I don't have any ha- ha- hatred in my heart for any of the Hex or Pulse Chain Maxis. Do you need them to keep telling everyone, look, man, you got to stay with the core coins, but their narratives just keep disintegrating. We were hoping it would be a world where the core coins will be pumping up. And that these things were cherry on the cake. You're not seeing that, man. You're seeing, friends, you, you saw this, right? You saw Richard insert the market. Everybody did. Inserted $14 million up here and then come back down. You also saw him do the anti ehex tweets and he goes straight into PHEX. Okay, you saw that as well. And then the market full on, full on rejected it. And you can see it on the price chart as well. Like you can see it right here. Yeah, This is it. The market runs in. There's a wick up here. See this this point up the top. The market goes, yes, P hex, you're the real hex. Now, bang. How about that for the real hex? Straight away, smack. Uses exit liquidity down 69%. You see, friends, this this is the reality of the situation. Now, many people will kick and scream and cry, but I'm here wearing my trusted yellow Pikachu hat. I already I know what to do. I've already positioned for this. Okay, you know this. 90% call, 10% lottery. Oh, I've only had a friend out here who was talking to me about this, about meme coins and altcoins. Like, for example, Tang Gang, HOA is on a dip, friends. And remember, I told you, P-Dye, Teddy Bear, Tropa, all these other ones. Now, sure, they don't have benevolent whale like Solid X and Axis ha- does. Sure, they don't have that same person rotating in, but you know what the game is, right? It's basically, that's what pretty much is happening. Okay, in a nutshell, it's Richard Hart's sacrifice money will go into the pools and as it rises, people will dump it out and go spend it however they want. That's pretty much how it comes down to, right? And you can't say anything about it. It's a free public open market, friends. It's about you. You have to pick right. You have to pick right. You got to be in the trenches. That's why I like, hey, Tangang's only 4 million market cap. Doesn't take much to move it. You see what I mean? This is pretty much what it comes down to. So a lot of people ask me like all day, hey, where do I get in? How do I get in? I don't know, man. It's, it's one guy. It's just like saying, look, man, everybody was hoping that Hex and Pulse Chain and PulseX will do this chart where everybody are begging, where do I get in? Where do I get in? Well, they can get better prices than you who believed three years ago, which is very sad. But that's because market cap matters, man. Just to show you, look at Solid X, friends. There is a $2.5 million liquidity. So it's probably $1.25 million on the bid and $1.25 million on the offer. So it's $2.5 million liquidity. So forget the market cap, the liquidity is out there. So technically, the only... Amount you can exit is 1.25 million, but that's still big because we're watching it at like 100k. You know what I mean? It's 100k to 200k at one point. Now it's 1.25 million. So that's what matters, right? And it matters how much money you have to insert. So that well, everyone was hoping that yes, that the, these coins, this will be the shape of Pulse Chain, Pulse X, and X. That's what everybody was hoping. Instead, you just see death and despair down, 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 and everything going down because of the market cap. Man, market cap does matter. That's it. The market. Marketplace is treating Hex like a cycle two coin and a cycle two narrative. It's treating it like a DeFi altcoin. So it's basically treating it like leverage on the ecosystem, which I know it sucks to hold, but it's actually what you want in a bull market. Because in a bull market, if you're leveraged, you should go up more than ETH. You should. But then you have Pulse Chain and Pulse X as well to think. So now you get to see the game, what's happening. Everyone's waking up to this. I don't know. I don't know how this is going to play out. I'll tell you right now, Ethereum did pretty well. Ethereum's done really well, where it has Ethereum and then all the applications launch around it. It just so happens that 
With the Pulse Chain Sacrifice projects, they launch applications. We need them as we actually need them. It's good we have all these applications, but they raised a lot of money. They did not need anywhere near that amount of money. They raised like 100 times more money than they need. You could have done all their jobs for literally 300 grand, pretty much. 300 to 500 grand or a million dollars max, but a lot of them were raising 5 million, 15 million, 30 million, 50 million. Yeah, where's all the money? No one knows what's happening. They're not probably not allowed to talk about it. Probably don't want to talk about it. They're probably... You never know, man. Maybe hope, some of them just hope that we can't like figure it out later on and it is what it is, okay? That's why this is a rebellion against the system. That's what Tanging have done, by the way. They're like, hey, let's do fair launch stuff where we rally around stuff. Our application is a meme. Cool. That's pretty much what's been happening. So there you go. I've been just shedding some light. What happens from here? I don't know, man. Just everyone's waiting to see. I'll just show you. This is, look, the last time, so... PX launched, okay, it was here for 50 days, and then it dropped, this is the red daily super trend, this is 79 days, and then when it flipped again, it was another 50 days, so right now, we are on day 27, so if day 50 would be 4th of May, day 70 would be 29th of May, so maybe Hex and the rig system starts moving up around there, all I did was, I just did a fractal, oh, you're normally down here for 57 days, it is what it is, okay? And yes, everyone is wondering, wait a minute, if Ethereum never reaches its big targets, how does money get rotated in? I don't know, friends. It's a year for the ride or not. That's why it, it helps to be in the leverage altcoins, the sensitive stuff. It really does. Like, subscribe, belly button, all. Not financial advice. Catch you soon.